Hello, yes, Aqualove TV again, and today I'm going to show you how to lower your pH. For some fish or shrimp species you want to own or breed, you might need some different water parameters than the ones in your tap water. And now I'm going to show you how to do this and how to get perfect water for the fish you want to keep. Not all the time lowering your pH is enough because your hardness will uh, buffer your water and every time you try to lower it, it will uh, rise automatically to the old value. So uh, most of the time you need to first of all lower your hardness. So let's start with my favorite method by using peat. This is normal garden peat but first of all you need to make sure it's free of fertilizer and added chemicals. I drilled some holes in this bucket, added some filter floss and then the peat. And then you can start by uh, filling some water in. The pros are that peat brings down pH and hardness and uh, releases lots of useful materials that are welcomed by fish. But the uh, cons are that it colorates the water a bit yellowish and that you need to do a lot of water tests before you find the right amount to, to mix with your tap water. The peat I use lowers the pH to 5.5 and the KH to 0. So this is pretty good knowing that you don't lose any water. The easiest method is using an RO system. Reverse osmosis water is almost free of minerals and can be used to soften your tap water. The pros are that this water is clean and can be used immediately, but uh, the cons are that you are wasting a lot of water by using this system. Another method is using snow or rainwater. The pros are that it's free and that you can get it almost all year long. But the cons are that it needs to be uh, carbon filtered because of air pollution and when you live near a city I wouldn't use it. Another method is using distilled water, but I wouldn't recommend it for big tanks, only for like small shrimp tanks. It's basically the same as RO water, but you always need to go buy it at a store and that's pretty annoying. You can use these three types of water to mix them with tap water or to salt them up by using products to get the parameters you want to. So here are two examples I use. When you have softened your water successfully, you can use peat, leaves like catapa leaves, alder cones and uh, wood in your tank to lower your pH because there's uh, not as much buffer than in your tap water. It will lower it and it will stay at a lower pH. Another method is using products like this, pH minus, which will uh, lower your pH by using oak extract. So these were eight methods on how to lower your pH and KH. Now you need to figure out which one works the best for you. At first it's always a bit of testing and you need to find out uh, how much water you need to mix with your tap water. But once you figure this out, it's pretty simple and you can do it at every water change. So that's it for today. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.